So in this section, we're going to look at interview preparation. And again, I'm not going to do a generic interview preparation um, discussion here. This is specifically for an interview at an engineering company at the stage of the career that you are. So the things that you need to do are learn about the company, go with some pre-prepared questions, go with everything that you need to take to your interview, and a bit of a idea of what to wear or how to work out what you need to wear to an interview. So you need to learn about the company. Um, this is really important to show that you are keen to work there, um, that, hey, you are, well, also that you actually understand where you're going to work, that it's a company you want to go and work at. But from an interview point of view, it is likely to be the first question you're asked. What do you know about this company? How did you hear about this company? What are the main challenges facing us? Um, and particularly um, in the HR and the recruitment side, this is a really bad sign if you can't answer that question. So do your homework, learn about the company, work out why you're applying there, why you want to work there, and why you want to work in a specific department that you've applied to if you've had to apply to a specific department. So yeah, understand why you're there and be able to articulate this concisely. So you'll probably have heard the phrase that an interview is a two-way thing. And it is true that, you know, you turn up to a company and you get a feeling whether you want to work there, feeling whether you're going to enjoy working in that company. Um, and part of that is to do with how the day goes and the answers that you get. Um, but actually, in an interview, you will probably be asked, do you have any questions? Now, this might be in your formal competency interview. It might be in your interview with HR. It might be in the chat over lunchtime. So go with some ideas of what you would like to ask. And they're going to be different for the different people that you're talking to. So like over a lunchtime chat, you might ask. Yeah, well, you might find out what the lunch is like. Uh, sometimes they get a special lunch in the room. But if you get taken to the canteen, find out about the canteen, about the kind of the outside life of work, um, how they feel about working at that company. If you're in a formal interview setting, you can ask things about the technical work that they do um, and the different specialisms that you can go into. Um, you know, there's a whole host of questions you can do, but just don't be caught on the hop. Um, have some idea of what you want to do. And there's nothing wrong turning up with your lab book with questions written on. Um, that's perfectly fine. In fact, I would encourage you to actually turn up with information um, and everything that you need. Um, refer to it if you want to, um, but if not, you have it there in your mind that you know what you want to ask. What do you need to take to an interview? So I would always take three paper copies of your CV and application form. One for you, one for the two interviewers. They probably will have them. In fact, they should have them. But it's amazing the number of times that I'm in an interview situation. I ask the candidate something and they look blankly at me. And I say, well, on your application form, you, you know, you referenced this project that you did. I'd like to know a bit more information about um, your role in this project and how you coped the technical issues of designing the circuit board or whatever it is. And they've got no memory, absolutely no memory. So take it with you and make sure you've read it recently so you can remember what you actually said for that company. You may want to take copies of your thesis or some project work or academic papers you've published or something that is relevant. Um, that's a, a nice thing to take. Um, so I use that in one of my interviews. I um, took out my PhD thesis on antenna design and tests when they were asking me what experience I had on testing and designing antennas. And it, it's really good there because you've got pictures that you can show and you can explain what you've done. You might be told to take a project with you, um, and this can be either a paper project or something that you've actually built. So if you are told to take that, do take something suitable with you. I would always turn up, yeah, with my notebook. I have my lab book. I don't go anywhere with that one. Um, so I always have pen and paper. Um, I personally, I'm better if I've written something down. So quite often if I get asked a question, I, I would actually write it down and then I can refer to it. Um, as I'm answering it. That's how I work. Other people work differently and that's fine. 
But if you ever do lose your thread in the middle of answering a question, just ask for a reminder what the question is. You should be provided with a drink. You should be provided with the option to go to the toilet beforehand or a snack or something like that. But make sure you are comfortable when you go into that room. So if you're not offered that, just say, would it be possible to have a drink or, you know, whatever it is that you need. Make sure that you're comfortable in there. Um, quite often the interviews just forget to do it. Um, it's not personal. Um, it's just, you know, things happen. So if you do need something, do just ask. And particularly if you need any special arrangements on the day for you to be able to successfully do your interview, make sure you've brought this up to the company beforehand so that can be put in place for you. It won't go against you at all. Um, it's you know, a very normal thing to do. Say you need a certain lighting or there's accessibility issues. It's absolutely fine. Just make the company aware. So what to take with you is relatively easy to sort out. What to wear is a, it's a bit of a minefield, to be honest. It's a very difficult question to answer. And it comes back to it's dependent on the company. So you go to a large engineering firm. The senior people and the managers will probably be wearing a suit and we're talking jacket and tie level. Um, you will find a lot of the other people working on site will be in jeans and t-shirt. It's very variable, but for an interview at a large engineering firm, you're basically expected to turn up in jacket and tie level sort of suit office wear. For women, it's a harder thing to judge, but to be honest, I do just wear a suit. That is kind of quite standard, um, but Again, that's my choice, but wear something that is appropriate office wear, equivalent to a jacket and tie level of formality. If you're a small to medium engineering firm, this varies greatly and it depends on the kind of work that the company is doing. Um, it roughly, I, in my experience, equates to office wear, a tie, but no jacket. So it's a slight level down. But again, for an interview, I would actually turn up in a suit for that kind of thing. Um, partly because it's easier to turn up slightly too smart and dress down than it is to dress up. So it gives you a, an option to blend in with the people. If you go to a startup, um, you're probably looking at smart, formal, maybe even casual. If you're going for a programming job in a startup, if you turn up in something other than a hoodie, it's probably a bit odd. Um, but you know, something that is smart, smart, formal, smart, casual kind of level. So maybe a nice shirt kind of equivalent level. Um, the best way to find out is if you know somebody in the company, ask them. Um, if you don't know somebody in the company, look at the website, see what the people are wearing, look at any um, social media posts they have with people in, look at what people are wearing that work at that company and just try to match in. But I would say kind of, aim on the formal end with the ability to take your jacket off, take your tie off, you know, remove a level of formality as required. So for the interview preparation conclusions, learn about the company, be able to explain from your view what the company does, what its values are and why you want to work there. Go with your pre-prepared questions and you're not caught on the hop trying to make something up in your head. Take the documentation with you that you need and dress as appropriately as you can. When you're ready, moving on to the next video, which is our competency questions.